Well guys, we decided to do one last stop because we were a little bit early for check-in. So we went north, 12 more miles, furthest north Jerry's ever been uh, in this state, of course. Uh, this is a long bridge, uh, Mount Orne, and it's in Lancaster, New Hampshire, not Pennsylvania. So this bridge is New Hampshire and Vermont, so this river? Yeah, this is awesome. Connecticut River, that's Vermont over there. We're gonna walk to Vermont right now, which, <laughs> you know, we'll be coming right back to New Hampshire after that, I can tell you that immediately. See you in Vermont, guys. Jerry and I would like to welcome y'all to Vermont. It was a, you know, 200 foot walk over here. Yes, it was. Yeah, what's really cool is they labeled it on this side too. Lunenburg, Vermont, 1911, 1983. Right there. And you're gonna come with us as we enter New Hampshire. This is probably one which of the is most rustic bridges that we've right run here. across. Yeah, the outside of it's super rustic. The inside, uh, quite updated. It's kind of torn on this side, but we have some planks missing here. We've got some patches right here. I know we're all very structurally sound, but I'm guessing the 1983 is when they redid this last, which makes sense because you have all yep, of this missing all right this, here. All these panels. All right, guys, we'll catch up with you in the hotel. All right, guys, we are in the hotel. We just had a fantastic, fantastic meal at the Common. What is this? How can one tighten their shorts with this? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> it's like a red card. Uh, <clears throat> oh yeah, <laughs> fantastic deal at the Common Man. Um, uh, this is a really nice hotel, the Holiday Inn. Uh, it's really contemporary. A lot of nice design cues. We have a futuristic chair here. Futuristic lamp, some nice beds, flat screen LG. It's falling off. No, that's the last thing we need. Uh, but we're going to spend the rest of our nights uh, heading down to the pool, the hot tub, just relaxing, kicking back. So it'll be a good time. Tomorrow we're going to hit some more cover bridges on the way back yep. amongst the loop. So uh, unless anything major happens tonight, we'll see you then, which will be tomorrow. Three seconds for you guys. All right, so we're at this automatic pancake mixer thingamajigger. Let's see how this works. Alright guys, my hair is miserable because of the chlorine. I'll get that out of the way right now. So we are on Interstate 93 South, going 80 because the speed limit is 70. Oh yes, New Hampshire, on the way. Uh, so we are four minutes out from our first cover bridge of the day on our pilgrimage south now. This is the what's called the jack o lantern Bridge in Thorn, Woodstock Thorn. Okay guys, uh, Jerry and I are big babies. Uh, just don't want to get shot. It is posted private property. Uh, we thought there was a way around, but it pretty much leads to a vertical cliff. And we're, see, we're not that stupid because there's actually a guy mowing the lawn maybe 200 yards away from us right now, and he'd see us. Most likely armed. Yeah, you know, most likely armed. So we're not going to go up there. Uh, Jerry thinks this was a, a bridge that used to be on an old highway and got moved. So they repurposed it here, which is kind of cool. And it'd be really cool to ride a golf cart over it. But this would be a really sweet spot to golf if we were any good at it. Um, yeah, well, we're not. But just take a look at the setting. Yeah. I mean, just pan it. Just absolutely beautiful. The course is in awesome shape. They're getting ready for the, uh, the busy, busy season here come uh, the end of May. So, but on to our next one, guys. And uh, hopefully that's one we can actually get out on. There's actually a whole bunch of bridges through here that we weren't able to access because they're uh, inside parks and stuff and they're just not open right now um, so this was at least cool because we did at least get a, a visual on it we uh, snapped some pictures and uh, on to the next one